the New York Roadrunners Running Center, just south of Central Park in Midtown New York City. Yes, Central Park. Central Park is the mecca of outdoor running in New York City. But if you go a few miles north, up to Washington Heights, you have the mecca of indoor running, which is the New Balance Indoor Track and Field Center, once again in Washington Heights, just up north from Central Park. And today, we're at the press conference leading up to the Milrose Games. And the Milrose Games are the most prestigious indoor track and field event in the USA. So now, let's go to the press conference and also talk to some of these elite athletes. With us, Eris Merritt, Hurdles. Now, now, tell me about tomorrow's event. And this is the Milrose Games. This is the most prestigious indoor and track and field Yes, it's definitely the most prestigious in America. Um, I'm really excited about the event. I haven't been back here in a few years now, um, and I'm really excited to compete. I've won two Milrose titles, and I'm going for my third one tomorrow. Tomorrow, <laughs> good, good luck there. Now tell me about your preparation. Well, um, as a professional athlete, we train about four hours a day, sometimes five, and it's, it's rigorous training, and we have some off days. Weekends typically are off or competition, and so, you know, we're, we're always on the track, and then from the track we go to the weight room, and then from there we go home and we sleep, because rest is also very important. And so my preparation going into the meet has been very, really, really, really good. Um, I'm training at a much higher level than I have been in the last couple of years, so I'm hoping for some fireworks tomorrow. And, and um, are you healthy? Everything going good? Of there? course, I'm healthy. Uh, I had a kidney transplant in 2015, and that um, derailed my Olympic dream for 2016, so I couldn't defend my Olympic title. But, you know, it's, it's just a blessing that I'm, be, I'm able to be back competing at such a high level. I'm um, ranked number three in the world in my comeback year. And now this is my 100% health year, so I am ready to go. That's an amazing story. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Do you feel different? Or of course, you feel different. You know, I, I feel like I have a, a much greater understanding of my body, and I have a much deeper appreciation for the sport and what it, and, and the rigorousness of training. Because when you're healthy, you, you kind of take it for granted, but now that you know that I've gone through what I've gone through, and now coming back, it's making me want it more, and you know, I have to put the work in. The doctors must feel that you're an amazing story there. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Um, I am a medical mystery because I'm not supposed to be running oh, ever. Really? Yeah, because of the type of kidney disorder that I have, uh, my immune system actually attacked my kidneys and caused scarring. And, you know, like it could definitely happen again in the new kidney, but it has not, and, it, and I don't think it will. I think that the, the disorder is gone now with transplant so <laughs> <laughs> well good luck there thank you and and nervous or um of course you know you always have a nervous feelings before competition but it's part of the game if you don't get nervous then you don't need to be doing it for sure <laughs> i agree sometimes you gotta let those nerves work with you exactly well say a shout out to all your fans hi guys aries Merritt here <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow thank you I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the New York Roadrunners here in New York City. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the Milrose Games.